Hi, I'm Dan McClellan, your Chargers Rap Reporter for CBSSports.com, and this is the Chargers Preview Show, where every week I give you a little inside information into the game to come. In Week 16 of the season, the Chargers, who are 5-9, will travel to take on the Jets, who are 6-8. Both teams are eliminated from the playoffs, but are playing for some pride. <laughs> By far the biggest storyline going into this week is the Jets benching of quarterback Mark Chan Sanchez in favor of third string quarterback Greg McElroy. Second string quarterback Tim Tebow was passed up and that's created a whole lot of controversy. McElroy will make his first career start against the Chargers. The reason for the move? Well, Sanchez turned the ball over five times uh, last week and now has 50 turnovers over the last two seasons. That's the most in the NFL with 35 interceptions and 15 lost fumbles. Interesting to note though, uh, quarterback Phillip Rivers has the second most with also 35 interceptions and 12 lost fumbles. The Chargers will get back this week uh, three starters on the offensive line, so that should help. Uh, right tackle Jeremy Clary, Left guard Tyrone Green and left tackle Mike Harris will all rejoin the O-line and hopefully provide better protection for Rivers and hopefully avoid uh, the interceptions. McElroy only had 10 interceptions uh, in college playing for Alabama with over 680 passes, so he does a good job of protecting the ball. But the Chargers defense will need to get after him, and they've done a good job of actually getting after the quarterback this season. They have... Uh, 47 sacks, which is the third most in the league. Uh, however, only had four sacks over the last two weeks. In large part, that's because they faced Ben Roethlisberger and Cam Newton, who are both very mobile. Uh, I don't expect that McElroy will be as mobile, and therefore you need to put the young quarterback to the test and put the pressure on him from the very beginning. <laughs> The Chargers injury report is actually fairly short this week. No players listed as out. Defensive tackle Brayo Franklin is the only player listed as doubtful with a knee injury. And inside linebacker Demario Williams is listed as questionable with an ankle injury. It should be noted, however, that uh, Takeo Spikes is listed as probable with a hamstring injury. A little suspect of this listing because Spikes missed practice on Wednesday and Thursday. It also should be noted that the reason why the Chargers injury report is, short, is so short is that now that they've been eliminated from uh, postseason contention, if you have a player that you think is going to miss a couple weeks, you put that player on the injured reserve list and fill their spot on the active roster. They did that on Tuesday by placing Ryan Matthews on the IR with a broken clavicle. He would have gone there no matter what. Uh, right receiver Malcolm Floyd probably wouldn't have gone with an ankle injury and as well as uh, Reggie Wells with an ankle and a toe injury. Uh, it is interesting with Floyd going in our that Robert Meacham, who really has not been seen from since he dropped a potential game-winning catch against the Browns in, in Week 8, uh, will likely get the start and will receive uh, plenty of playing time. Also entering back into the mix is right receiver Ed Royal, who has had a hamstring injury and has, has missed significant time. Uh, they will all factor into this week's game. Before you listen to my prediction, I, I've got to be honest, the last two weeks I have been totally off. I thought the Chargers would get blown out against the Steelers, and I did the opposite. They blew the Steelers off. I thought the Chargers should be able to handle the Panthers, and they got absolutely blown out by the Panthers. Uh, who really knows this week? There's a lot of variables. Uh, both offenses are struggling. I'm expecting a low-scoring game, giving the edge to the Jets basically because uh, of the weather, windy in New York, the Chargers offense really struggled against the Browns when it was uh, windy earlier in the season. So I'm picking the Jets 13 to 10. For all your latest Chargers information, please visit CBS Sports every single day. You can also follow me on Twitter at CBS Chargers and San Diego Sports. You can hear me on the radio Sundays on Extra Sports 1360, the home of the Chargers, Sports Squawk Sunday with Doug and Dan from 9 to 10 a.m.